Rob Fournier. Rob, tell me a little about yourself. Well, um, that's a good question. A little bit about myself is I am just a blessed baseball coach that uh, is, has been blessed with a great opportunity here at Wabash Valley College and uh, took advantage of this opportunity when I was a young guy at 23 and um, the rest has been history. But uh, I love junior college baseball. Love what we do. We've got a great family atmosphere here. Um, and uh, it's a great situation here what Wabash Valley has to offer. And we got something really special going on with our student athletes and uh, just enjoy what I do. So I was born and raised in Southern California. So I went to Nordoff High School, um, right in the Southern part, like I said, in California. And um, it's a beautiful place and blessed to be there. And it's great that we can do everything indoor and outdoor and no one on yards. So it's a lot of fun because we could do all kinds of outdoor activities in the beach and the mountains, all that kind of stuff. So I'm a little bit spoiled, but I love being Midwesterner now. Process to becoming the Wabash Valley baseball coach. So, you know, as I was talking to actually a few of my players about it actually this morning was, um, I was very lucky and fortunate that when I was 23, I was actually heading back to California, um, actually to be an assistant at my old junior college. And this opportunity came up on the way down. And so I interviewed here as an assistant coach and um, decided to take the job as a junior college assistant here. And then out of nowhere, the head coach left about two months later. And, they had uh, signed me to the intern head coach and did a really nice job the first year and our, our season was really, really good. So they decided to give me the opportunity and uh, took over as head coach 25 years ago and been here ever since. Tell me about the success Wabash Valley Baseball has had in the last couple of years. Well, there's been success and we try to, you know, talk about, you know, our biggest theme is everything counts. And of course we love to win games. Uh, we love to win championships like everybody else, but we want to win on and off the field. So we want to make sure our kids graduate, uh, move on to good four-year schools. Uh, we want to make sure that they're getting better here. Player development's at a, at a premium here. Um, and we have a great experience. So I, I think that, um, you know, when we talk about winning games, it's about winning at everything. You know, we, you know, I'm a junior college coach and we work together at this, but you know, it's bigger than us. We want these kids to move on and be prepared whatever day school they go to. You were a scouter for the Phillies and Indians. Tell me about that. Yeah, so it must have been about 20 years ago. Um, you know, just being out on the recruiting trail, you get to meet a lot of people, and that's the beautiful part about this, uh, you know, this job is you get to meet everybody, scouts, you know, parents, the whole nine yards. And so I ran into an old-time scout named Bill Shedlig, and he needed somebody down here in the southern Illinois area to help him out, and uh, I jumped aboard and uh, was more than proud and happy to do that. So I got to... You know, learn a lot of things about how it works professionally, how this is what scouts look for, um, and then obviously just helped our program out as well. Tell me a little about the big name you got coming here from Mount Carmel, Caleb Appleby. So first of all, it's you know it's a blessing. Uh, we're just very proud to have you know Caleb. Uh, I've known him for a long time and seen him grow up through the ranks and watch him mature. It's been you know, a wonderful thing watching him mature as a you know young man. So the whole process is a, is a great situation for everybody you know I think that he feels at home here we got a great relationship he's got a wonderful relationship with our pitching coach so everything clicked it's the right fit for what he's looking for what we're trying to do and and obviously he's got a great future ahead of him whether it's professional or that's the University of Kentucky as well when you were with the Phillies and Indians what big names have you met along that way I'd say there's there's a tremendous amount of, of guys we've met along the way but uh, a couple guys that uh, the first guy that I recommended when I was a, a young scout was um, Mr. Spillman over here in Mount Vernon, Indiana, that uh, his dad coached in, in big leagues and played professional baseball, and he was one of them. And, you know, with the Phillies, there's just been a lot of young guys that uh, went through the system that, um, you know, that I've met and played with, or rather coached with, and, and the whole nine yards. So it's been an interesting, uh, interesting journey for me. So we're looking to be the best version of Wabash Valley College Baseball this year, and Obviously, our goal every year is to go to Grand Junction, um, but um, you know we just try to work, keep it simple here. You know we got first one we conference championship, and uh, play our best baseball at the end of the year is what we try to do. What's it like being a coach, but also watching these kids develop at a young age? So being a coach, first of all, um, it's just a joy, and the biggest thing about what we love to do here is just watch them to develop every day in practice, from the first day of practice to the very end of fall. It's an incredible 
uh, natural high that I say, just watch these kids get better. So, uh, you know, I can see as a, as a coach, to me, that's what it's all about.